the 9800 GX2 from XFX. I'm going to be running these in quad SLI, but at the moment I've just got one, as they only have one in stock. So we'll just do a quick unpacking and check out what the thing looks like inside. Okay, inside we have similar packaging to the 8800 Ultra, the uh, known green box now that uh, XFX always seem to use. We have the same foam packaging, the egg carton packaging on top. We have the same Do Not Disturb card, NVIDIA Gaming, some various paperwork, the same free game that they've given away, Company of Heroes, different drivers obviously, and here's the only difference is the card itself. Straight away picking it up I notice it's at least one and a half times heavier than the Ultra and a good inch or two longer. Very good looking card. Just open that up. Here we go. This is it, everybody. The fastest card ever to be released. Straight away, I notice it's very heavy. Enclosed in a steel frame, as opposed to the Ultra, which was completely in plastic. We've got a little sticky here covering up the 8 pin and 6 pin plugs. Everybody already knows about the issue with the 8 pin, you have to do a little modification for that. That shouldn't be that much of a problem. We'll leave that off. Also the SLI connector is covered as you can see there. We can take that off. And there you go, there's the SLI connector. Which I'll leave on for now until I get the other card. Very heavy card, very substantial. Very good value for money. I picked this up for eight hundred and forty-five dollars Australian. I paid thirteen ninety-nine for the Ultra, and this will give you about one and a half times the Ultra performance, which is pretty good. In quad, that's going to be interesting. We'll just see that how that runs later. Of course, you have the HDMI output, and only two uh, DVI outputs here. I'd expect four with two graphics cards, but yeah, completely enclosed, like right to the back, completely covered. One big box. At least it looks good on the side now. Unless you have the nice Nvidia logo on the side, where the Ultras didn't have much at all. Very plain-looking black stealth card. We'll just fit that in now and see how that goes. Yeah, I have an eight-pin connector. And we'll just put that in. Straight in, no problem. No modification at all. They must have fixed the problem for the Australian release because I thought that was going to be an issue, but yeah, that should be fine. This is the 9800 GX2 mounted. As I mentioned before, the 8 pin plug went straight in, no modification at all. Put the 8 pin on the 6 pin. Nice long, still plenty of space, so as long as they want, I can still fill a full fist before it touches my DVD ROM. We'll power that up and see how that looks. Very sweet. Nice little lights around the plug there. And the blue light at the back. Sweet looking card.